Hi everyone, Donut here. Guess what I got for you today? That's right, a hot, fresh Leo recap right out of the oven. Leo meaning Lasagna Enhancement Organization, of course. Formed in 1974, a group of Italian mothers meet once a year to discuss the best ways to make the best pasta dish ever. Neat. I think it's been over a year before we've taken more than like two crimey crimes and put them all together and did a Leo recap. I kind of built this channel on Leo recaps and people getting shot to death. I'm going to start doing more Leo recaps. Let's revive the Donut News Network. It's mostly just been death, destruction, and mayhem. Well, this video is no different, but you know, let's talk about some other stuff. In addition to all the crime we're going to take a look at in this video, you know what's also criminal? Being exposed on online. You see, I was approached by Guardio and they was like, hey, check out our extension. And I checked out their extension. They give a free scan of how you're exposed, not in the cool way. And I didn't realize that my wing was just hanging out on the internet, not, not nudes or anything. I'm just exposed. Look at this. Basically, anyone can get the free scan with a free seven-day trial or a premium member but look, I have 11 data leaks and I had no idea. That sucks, but I'm gonna fix it thanks to Gario telling me about it. Not only do they tell you how much your information's been linked, they can protect you in your entire browsing experience. They'll keep you from downloading dangerous things online. They'll keep you away from harmful or annoying pop-ups. Guardio will also block any phishing attempts no matter the source. That includes email, social media, Google, or anywhere else. So you can browse the web without worrying. And as you saw a couple seconds ago, they'll tell you when your information is leaked on the internet. I'm going to go change all my passwords now. Thanks, Guardio. A personal story that came to mind with this is, you know, I had to work with scams and things like that all the time as a police officer. And old people, they click on f***ing anything. Imagine if you installed Guardio on their browser. You can probably save them a bunch of time and trouble and confusion. Because we know they're already confused. Don't make it worse. Get Guardio. Cool thing, too, is if you get it, five family members can have it. That means you, mom, dad, girlfriend, Nana. Think about your Nana. Protect yourself from malicious pop-ups, malware, phishing, a bunch of other malicious shit on the internet by going to guard.io slash donut operator. By going to that link or clicking it in the description below, you're going to get 20% off your monthly subscription. Or if you want to, just do their seven-day free trial. Think about yourself and Nana having a clean and secure browsing experience today by going to guard.io slash donut operator. First up, the cartels down there in Mexico do some really crazy stuff like cutting people's face off, like that movie in Face Off where they took a man's face off off. But unlike that masterpiece of 1997 Academy Award winning cinema starring Nicolas Cage, in real life, the cartel guys do it for real while the person is still alive, and they certainly aren't going undercover as John Travolta in the next scene. Despite the cartel boys being some pretty savage dudes, sometimes they actually have a soft spot for animals, other than feeding people to pit bulls. A hairless cat was recently found wandering the halls of a Mexican prison with cartel gang tattoos. This little scamp is okay, though. He was adopted by some nice people in Texas. According to reports, several heavily armed dudes with body armor stormed the prison, killed seven guards execution style, and then made off with a gang leader. Inside the other cells, police found nine other animals, big screen TVs, booze, cash, and even a mechanical bull. That sounds like a pretty rad prison. There are so many jokes about <coughs> being in prison to be made, but I'll leave that up to you guys. By the way, if you haven't grabbed your dead cartel monkey shirt from my merch store, go ahead over there and grab that El Changusto shirt. Heather needed an Heather, Jesus Christ. Heather, Heather would probably like a monkey too. Heaven needed another little Sicario that day. <laughs> Full video coming soon. In other news, the NYPD fitness test has been trimmed down again to increase the number of passing recruits. According to reports, the chief training officer scrapped the one and a half mile run required to become an NYPD officer. Good thing criminals are also lowering their fitness standards. I have an idea. There's a deep, dark place that I haven't been to in a while that's not your mom. Let's check out the Protect and Serve subreddit to see what the fine officers over there have been doing while patrolling the mean streets of Reddit. Oh, we're actually going to talk about this in a minute. Pursuit policies. WSP can't stop fleeing vehicle due to new pursuit law. Same vehicle kills two minors an hour later. Pursuit policies can be good and they can be bad. An eight-year-old girl and a six-year-old boy died after the car they were riding in was hit head-on by a driver going the wrong way. They attempted to stop him an hour earlier for going 111 miles an hour. I thought state troopers didn't have a chase policy. Under current laws that the legislation just passed, police officers are not allowed to pursue vehicles unless it's something felonious in nature or a suspected DUI. Uh, you guys couldn't be like, that's probably a DUI right there. Just go get them later. Well, they did after they killed two people. Like I said, pursuit policies can be good and bad. You'll see some bad here in a minute. 
what's this lapd may no longer send armed officers to these police calls okay what what calls could they be we've talked about this before the whole sending social workers to calls because sometimes you're called to i don't know to turn loud music down and you get shot at you'd never know where you're getting into but let's see what lapd is thinking about not sending cops to anymore lapd union representing officers of the los angeles police department has released a list of calls for services they it believes can be handled by responders who are unarmed <laughs> okay non-criminal non-violent homeless and quality of life related calls <laughs> before we go any further i just want to say i've kind of scanned this list real quick every single one of these i can find a video for where a cop gets shot or stabbed non-criminal mental health calls no non-violent juvenile disturbances or juveniles beyond parental control mm, like won't go to school all right i don't think any officer should respond to that <laughs> be a parent there's one i agree with Call to schools unless the school administration is initiating a call for an emergency police response or making a mandatory reporting notification. Uh, I can I can agree with that when there should be school resource officers though. Public health order violation. Okay. All right, I take that back. There's a couple I agree with. Under the influence calls, absolutely cops should go there. Welfare check, that's not terrible, but I've also seen people get stabbed on welfare checks. Non-fatal vehicle accidents. Uh, how many vehicle accidents have you seen online where a dude runs up with a hatchet and starts going at the officer? Parking violations, maybe. Oh, no, nah, there's some of these that make sense but there's some of them that are really really dumb we're gonna see a lot of dead social workers what do the officers of reddit have to say about this <laughs> work with the dude covered in scars because of a call that would check a few of these boxes welfare check on a guy acting where hey buddy you okay get stabbed 10 times one of these calls in the article is a welfare check about a year ago two deputies i knew were ambushed and killed at a welfare check by a guy who killed his parents and was waiting on officers a third officer from the city was shot in the head trying to reach the wounded and it was what they'd consider non-criminal the mom just hadn't shown up for work and wasn't answering her phone and a concerned co-worker called it in like i said dude even the simplest call can end up in something pretty gnarly oh look they're saying just what i'm saying how long before one of these unarmed responders gets shot and killed any guesses okay protect and serve what else you got going on today spotted crown vic in downtown bk a few nights back they're still out there oh look that crown vic's make me want to go uh Oh man, NYPD cop involved in fatal on duty shooting last year takes his own life. I wonder which one that was. 22 year old, jeez, man. The officer is one of the four cops who shot at Jermaine Hickson during a furious exchange of gunfire outside of Coney Island Deli on November 10th. I don't know if I covered that. Oh my God, you fucking pop ups. I swear to Christ. I don't think I covered this when I was going to. You go, ah! Extra shooting breakdown. Police pulled up and he started shooting at him right off the bat. Oh man. And then he goes down and he keeps shooting. Oh man, that's sad. One of those officers himself. Dang. Decent groupings, at least, right? <laughs> Good job, buddy. Just remember, it's not a hostage situation if you take the hostage out of the equation. All shootings compared to officer involved shootings in Chicago from 2014 to 2022. Oh my God. All shootings officer involved shootings the cops are the problem last but not least let's look at the video that you all came for for here here for there was a gnarly wreck in baltimore that killed one injured five it was all caught on one of those street cameras that they have there these things are getting pretty good resolution now too i'm gonna have to blur a little bit of this because a guy dies even though news channels can play these monetized all day long i'm not considered news if you want to watch the full unedited video please head on over to my raw police channel i'll link that in the comments and description below february February 8th, a 33 year old man decided to steal a Sonata. If you're gonna risk jail time, why the f are you stealing a Sonata? They released one angle of body camera in this incident, which shows a police officer go after the suspect. Shortly into the chase, you hear a supervisor say, Break it off, meaning in the pursuit. Sinclair coaching Wolf. Alright, just let it go, guys. He's on the balance, Sinclair. He's traveling at a high rate of speed. It looks like it's gonna go south on Wolf and come out of a lot of cities have a no chase policy, meaning that if it's not felonious and you don't have to get them, then just let them go so they don't crash into civilians, which is exactly what happens in this one. Five seconds after the pursuit is called off, you hear another officer come over the radio and say they just crashed into a building and the building collapsed. Yeah, just got a car, collapsed building, building just fell on it, north and wolf, get some units, uh, open medics. Now we're going to take a look at that street cam I was talking about.
Hard to tell what happened because dude was going pretty fast when he slammed into that building. I'll slow it down a little bit. In total, five people in both cars were injured and one person died. The person who died was the guy who got slung into the building when the building collapsed on him. That's all I got for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, go over to DonutOperator.com to get some super sweet merch. Subscribe to any of my other channels. Hit that notification bell below so you can be notified when my videos are released. I think it only notifies about 20% of subscribers and it keeps on subscribing you guys for me. So hit it, hit it, hit it hard. Hope you guys have a fun, safe weekend. And as always, have a fantastic day. Wanker. Wanker.